What's going on guys? It is the Phantom Michael and I just want to show you guys this really awesome OU battle that I'm using with this mono water type team for the tournament. Um, now I'm just testing out different different uh, mons to use, but I had a lot of fun with this little battle here. So you guys just check this out. So he's using Tapu Koho and my Toxapex. Um, if I'd have got off, I feel like a uh, what a gunk shot or sludge bomb or something. I can't remember what move it was, but uh, it would have done massive damage to that Tapu. But um, I just really wanted to get up my um, Toxic Spikes. So then Starmie comes out, obviously, uh, Thunder Punch drops Starmie to the Sash, and then Starmie hits it with a Psychic. So, but uh, C Celestila comes out, and uh, Celestila is the biggest problem that this guy has on his team for me. Um, so yeah, but let's, uh, so it's four to five right now. Um, Politoed comes out. My plan is Hypnosis. Unfortunately, missed that hypnosis. I was a little worried there. Leech Seed, I was like, oh, I'm going to take some damage from this. This isn't good. Um, Politoed has a um, leftovers on him. So I, I did hit that hypnosis, which I was like, okay, this is good. This is going good for me. Um, but now my plan is to switch out, go into Greninja for a Haze that I put on there. I didn't know how good Haze would be, um, but I know Haze just gets rid of all these little buffs. So getting rid of this buff was very important so I took that out um, now also Greninja also has the Z crystal water Z on it with a waterfall so this is a physical setting Greninja um, but I just really need to keep Greninja going uh, Gyarados is my mega he obviously toxics I was a little ah uh, shoot right there um, so I am gonna play and go for a ice fang which I know isn't gonna do much literally I have nothing good for the Celesteela to do anything to it right now um, I do have one play but unfortunately I can't really risk using it yet just because of some of his switch ins he has for it um, I get the ice fang off it flinches I believe this one no okay it does flinch this time so I got the flinch off I was like okay this is good standing this is going to really good um, so now my play is just now listen I EQ'd because I completely forgot Celestila was a freaking flying type and I was like damn that sucks Let's try it again. It's immune, and then I, then I realized, oh, look, I even in the chat, I'm like, I totally forgot it was a flying type. Made me feel really dumb. Um, yeah, made me feel really dumb. Politoed comes out. Um, obviously, Politoed is my hypnosis, um, ice beam, toxic, um, water, hydro pump. Um, so I put it to sleep with hypnosis. Like, okay, so hydro pump. Do I hydro? Yeah, I think I hydro pump this time you know, ice beam I ice beamed it so um because I does ice beam I think ice beam is no it's not um maybe I was thinking icy wind or something but um yeah so the belly drum comes out so I'm like okay it's gonna hit me it's got the citrus on it okay expected but he is poison so he is on a serious time clock so I shell smash because I have a sash on a cloister so if you watch body slam brings him into my sash he doesn't pair me which is great and then I use liquidation to destroy Snorlax so now it's a 3-4 game right now rain has stopped Celesteela comes out and I'm like dang dude dang so I ice shard it it wakes up and I'm like ah crap air slash dead cloister I'm like okay okay my play now is to Let's go out into Toad. Let's put it to sleep, and I'm gonna haze it again. That's my plan. Hypnosis falls asleep. I'm like okay, switch to switch to Greninja. Or no, oh no, I didn't switch to Greninja this turn. I think I tried a Hydro Pump. I did a Hydro Pump that connects with the Arcanine, which is good. I didn't expect the switch, but I think he knew that I was gonna use Greninja, and he didn't really have anything to hit Greninja with. With Celesteela, the close combat comes in, doesn't do a lot. Um, drops him. I go for another Hydro Pump to uh, seal the seal the deal right there on Arcanine. Um, now it's a 3-2 game, which is looking pretty good in my favor. Um, Garchomp comes out. I know I have Ice Beam four times effective against Garchomp. He is poison. Earthquake doesn't quite take me out. Ice Beam connects. Brings him down by 78%. He's still poison. I know that this turn right here, no matter what, Garchomp goes down. He EQs me, takes out Politoed, Poison comes in, takes out the Garchomp, 
right there. Garchomp is down. So now it's a 2-1 game with Greninja left. Ninetales comes out. I'm like, okay, Ninetales. Okay. Greninja. Snow Warning comes in. I'm like, okay. We're going to get Hailstorm. Gunk Shot. Super effective. Boom. Ninetales is done. So now I'm like, okay. I really, really hope this works because... Remember, Celesteela is still sleeping, and that's why he switched Celesteela out. So here it comes. Hydro Vortex, Celesteela, 86% left. Brings him down by 83%, has 3% left, and then gets taken out by Hale. And that was the game right there. That game was so close. He, he left immediately, but that game was so close. I was really nervous throughout the entire game. It was a really good battle, so... The El God, good job, man. That was that was a really fun battle. I got really lucky right there. Um, I feel like if Polytooth wouldn't have had that hypnosis, he wouldn't have been frustrated and swapped out. But hey, that's Pokemon, and we did the what we could. So that was a great battle. So yeah, props to him. But all right, you guys. If you guys want to see more interesting battles like this, be sure to subscribe, leave a like if you're able. And with that, I've been the Phantom Michael. I'm gonna get the heck out of here, you guys. I will see you in the next one.